What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Payback. Today we are going to be locating the newest abandoned car that's been added in to the game. And uh, we are going to be going uh, full old school American muscle. We're getting a Cuda baby. A Plymouth a Barracuda. So uh, this should be fun. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Now, if you guys are looking for this car on your own, in your own game, then it's going to be over here in the mountain region. And uh, it's right down here next to this Enforcer mission. So it's right in this little area, this little, like, kidney bean looking thing. And uh, that is where we're currently headed. So we've had, we've had a lot of these, these abandoned cars out here in this western area of the map. Which is kind of interesting. I guess it's going to make us explore it a little bit more. I feel like I never really spent too much time out here during the main main campaign of the game. So it's kind of cool to explore these uh, lesser known areas. The hints on Twitter was something about follow the signs to some cabin or something like that. I don't know. So we got to look out for signs to a cabin. This is the cabin right here. And it looks like we've got the car nearby. The New Haven Cabins. And it's right here parked outside. Dude, that thing looks pretty sick. I like the colorway it has on it already. The purple with the black racing stripe. All right, here we go, boys. So y'all know the deal. We're going to have to escape the cops here. Which probably isn't going to be all that easy. But we're going to be okay. This thing is already super fast. I feel like we're kind of pretty high off the ground. I'm wondering if this is going to be a drag build. Oh, gosh. Escaping the cops in a car that's not really tuned up on dirt roads is not not ideal. Okay, where are we going to be going here? What's... Oh, man. We have a long way up to the desert. Holy cow, boys. So, obviously, this is not going to be easy. I'm trying to push these guys into the light poles, but none of the light poles are strong enough, really. I want the ones where it's going to knock them out. There you go. Finally got a good one. Need those heavy duty telephone poles. Going to the gas station. I don't know if we want to start cutting across the desert yet. I don't think we can take a straight shot there. So we're going to try to keep on the roads as much as we can. I mean, for not being tuned, this thing is actually pretty solid. Ah. See, I'm trying to get him into these heavy-duty phone poles. Telephone wires. Yes! Got him! That's what I'm talking about. Now, don't hit the next one yourself. Woo. Okay. We haven't seen any rhinos yet. I'm sure they're coming. Dude, this was a, a long way to go for this one. Honestly. But, um... It's kind of an easy one because it's been a lot of straights. <laughs> no, I heard this sound coming from over our right ear. Sounded like it was coming from a long ways away and then all of a sudden he was right in front of us. And now he's on top of us. Okay. So we, we should be okay here. As long as they don't spin us out and get lucky and box us in, I think, I think we're just going to be a straight shot across. Oh my god. It's literally... Raining cop cars right now. How do those guys get that much air? They keep trying to pit maneuver us. Okay. I think this is going to be a problem. I think we actually have to take a left here. Rhino incoming. Woo! Yeah, we're going to have to get through this mountain range. Dude, this is the most epic cop chase we've had yet. Can't even see anything in this tunnel. Yeah, we had to go through the tunnel to get through the mountain range. Now, I believe we're close enough. We should be able to do a straight shot. I'm going to give it a go. Pucker up, boys. Woo! We are leading these guys on a chase and a half. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying not to hit like the, the little telephone poles and stuff that could potentially stop us. There's a lot of little stuff out here in the desert that's like rooted into the ground. 
this is not a good area to be in, but that was dope right there. We just took out three cars with one and dodged the Rhino. Let's go, boys. And with that, we are coming over the crest to the airport. That was easily the most exciting cop chase that we've had in this game. That was amazing. That was seriously incredible. All right, guys. Well, we made it to our hideout. We're going to give this thing to Rav. We're going to kind of kind of make it look a little pretty. See what it looks like stock. Ooh, got to be careful here. Don't want to fail this right at the very end. That would be bad, even though the cops aren't after us. I think we're fine. But yeah, we're going to give it to Rav. We're going to we're going to put the basic parts on it just so we can see what it looks like stock. Then we're going to take it and customize it and tune it up a little bit. Then we're going to see if we want to add anything crazy on there. I can't imagine them having very many crazy options for this thing. It's kind of a, a pretty classic muscle car. I don't, I don't want to rice it out or anything like that. All right. Woo! Smooth, boys. That was a smooth one. All right. So, let's take it to the garage. We're going to find out what type of car it is. I want to think it's a, a drag car, but it's, it, it can't be. The handling was too good. The handling felt right. So I don't think it's a drag car. I think this is just going to be a race car. Oh, it's off-road. Those classics are an ultra-rare collector's item. Great way to drive in style. It's an off-road car. Interesting. I was not expecting that. But I guess that makes sense because it was handling really, really well off-road. I was just not expecting them to put an off-road car as a muscle car. You know what I mean? So again, I'm just going to buy all the stock parts just so we can see it stock. We're not going to check anything else out yet. Looks like we have a lot of options. I don't know. There might be a wide body option. Yeah, there is a wide body option. I don't know if I'm going to go for it, though. I feel like we do wide body a lot. No spoiler. Plymouth trunk lid. Dude, this purple is beautiful. I don't really want to leave it the exact same. Definitely need to change the, the wheels. No side skirts. Um, I don't know if we want to leave it the same just because that's kind of boring, but like, it's, it's nice, dude. It's really nice. All right, Plymouth mirrors. There it is. So that's what she looks like when she's bone stock. Beautiful car just by itself. Honestly, it doesn't need a whole lot else. So we're going to take this thing over to a tune-up shop. We're going to increase the stats by quite a bit. And uh, I'll see you guys when we're back at the garage. All right, guys, this thing is uh, actually pretty impressive. We've got almost 1,200 horsepower, a top speed of 218, 0 to 60 in 1.8 seconds, and a quarter mile in 8.6. For an off-road vehicle, this thing is absolutely nuts. So uh, let's see what we're working with here. I'm going to check out some of the community designs here. Go to our library, community. All right. So like I said, I don't think I want to go too crazy with it. I don't think I want to uh, detract from how beautiful it is just by itself. This orange and black looks kind of cool. I like that orange, that burnt orange look. Um, what's this red say here? Delete red layer. I mean, that's kind of a cool artsy type one, but I'm not going to go for that. We've got this one here, which isn't too bad. Kind of cool. We've got the purple one over here. I really like purple on this car, dude. I think purple looks really, really good on this thing. So that's not bad. Um, got kind of like a purple camo look here. Some yellow mud up the sides. It's kind of Vikings colors. I don't mind that. That doesn't look too bad. But like I said, I think, I think I'm going to keep this thing fairly simple. I might go for something like this. That's pretty dope, dude. Like I said, I like that burnt orange. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and go with that. Looks good to me. Now let's go ahead and customize it. So do we want to drop the height? I'm going to drop the height. I think that's kind of cool. It's got a cool look to it. Now let's see what we have for our different hoods and such. Ooh, we've got the like rumbler here, which is kind of cool. Or we've got that. I think the stock hood looks pretty good though. But I'm going to go with this. I'm going to make it unique. So we've got that for our grill. I think I'm going to keep it stock, front bumper. Hmm. 
Alchemist bumper is kind of cool. So we're going to go with that. Do we want to put a splitter on here? That's not bad, but I don't like that it's white. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm going to go with this. We'll have a splitter on there, but it, it doesn't really take away from it too much. So we've got that. For the fenders, we did see that there is a wide body kit, but I really don't think I'm going to go for wide body here. I think this thing is beautiful without wide body, so we're going to keep that like that. We could put some side skirts on there. Why not? Some side skirts. Um, the rear ones wouldn't look bad if we added a little bit of a fender flare, but like I said, I think, uh, actually, you know what? I kind of like it in the rear. I think I'm going to go rear, but I'm not going to go front. Ah, uh, but that doesn't really look right, dude. Yeah, if you're not doing it all the way through, I don't think it really looks right. Do we want to do anything here? Could add like a little bit of a flare. What's the difference between these two? I'm not really seeing much. I'm just gonna go back to uh, back to to stock. We're gonna keep it like that. I'm cool with that. All right, tail lights. Oh, that's interesting. We've got those. We've got these. We have some interesting options here, dude. I'm gonna start by taking a look at these. I mean, that's. Kind of untraditional, but it's kind of cool at the same time. These are interesting. Oops. I just like zooming out to get a zoomed out look at it. Those aren't bad. Or we could go with the traditional and smoke them out. I'm honestly having a hard time picking here. I like all of them. I like those a lot. I also really like these a lot. But let's keep it old school. I'm going to go with this. We're going to do something a little bit different. We got that. All right, good stuff. For the rear bumper, what do we want here? Lots of different options. I kind of like this because it makes it all smooth. But then that makes it look a little bit more aggressive. So we'll keep that. Diffuser looks dumb on it. Not going to do that. Exhausts. Probably going to kind of straight pipe it a little bit there. That looks good. Um, mirrors. The mirrors on the front honestly wouldn't look bad on this thing, but I think I'm going to keep the normal mirrors here. Can we darken out those mirrors? Yeah, let's darken them out, though. It's got that kind of, like, gunmetal look. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, the biggest thing, I think, is going to be the wheels. And I'm not good at picking out rims for off-road vehicles. I just don't... I don't know. It's kind of hard to pick them out. Hard to pick out something that looks good for off-roading. Um, especially in a car like this. Like, I would never take a muscle car off-roading. I don't know. It just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. How's that? What if we did this? But I'm... That's the biggest size they have. It's not a bad off-road look. I feel like we might be able to find something better, though. Let's keep it going. See, like, the, the weld racing and stuff, like, that that looks like an off-road type of tire. So we're going to have to get all the way back towards the end here. What do we want to go with? Something like this kind of fits the style of the car. With Tanabi? Ooh. I might go with this, but black it out. With Tanabi. I'm going to go with the Watanabe's. Can't make them any bigger. So we're going to go primary paint. Black it out. Secondary paint. Black it out. What do you guys think? Ah, uh, I don't love that either. I honestly don't think I would have found any rim that I really, really like. Just because the off-road rims look kind of awkward in this game, dude. It's, um... I don't know, just like, the rims are always super, super small, and I just don't really love it, so. I'm gonna go with this, we're gonna put those nice, fat off-road tires on there, and, uh, that doesn't look too bad. I don't love them, but I think overall this car looks really, really sick. I really like how this thing turned out, dude. Looks nice and aggressive. I actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this side skirt off. Let's remove it. Yeah, the side skirt didn't really match at all. Okay. 
Dude, I think this turned out this turned out better than expected. I actually I I can dig it. Do we want any vanity items here? Or anything? I guess we could put some uh, air suspension on there. Nitrous color, do we have orange? Is orange an option? Orange nitrous, why not? Horn underglow, not gonna go for any of that. Okay, there it is, boys. That is our Plymouth Barracuda, and uh, this thing is gonna be a monster. I cannot believe it's putting up numbers like it is being an off-road vehicle. Like, this is seriously really crazy. So, we're gonna check this thing out, run a couple races, and uh, let's see what it's made of. It should be fun here. Man. This thing's pretty mean. I like it, dude. Listen to that engine roar. American muscle, baby. Dude, it's dope. I like it. Looks like the sun's coming up here, too. Should be a, uh, a good day, man. I like the lights that we chose. They're a little bit like a newer school. Like, they obviously wouldn't have LED lights like this on an old car. But it's kind of a mix of new school and old school, which I like. Which is kind of what this car is, so. We'll take it, baby. Got that Hemi in there. Gotta rip some stuff up. All right, where do we want to go? Um, we need an off-road race. I guess we'll go ahead and go to events. What type of, I guess, Airfield Showdown is right next to us. Do you guys want to try that? Why not? We're right here. This thing is burning rubber just off of acceleration as an off-road vehicle. This is nuts. All right. Hit 25 objects and win the race. Ooh, this one's tough. It's actually hard to hit these objects, but we're going to do our best. We might be able to do it here. I don't know. I've got a feeling this thing is going to be really, really fast. So we'll be able to take the time to worry about hitting stuff rather than trying to get first. Already hit 13 objects right off the bat. We're looking pretty all right. Got to hit some of these. Do the bushes count? Nope, bushes don't count. Got to hit road signs and stuff then. Cacti count, I think. Where are the road signs at? Yeah, dude, this thing is ridiculously fast. Oh, God. Oh, no. What a... Seriously, bro? Is that real? No! Oh! We made it. That's for real. There's no way we're going to be able to win this race now. That dude came out of nowhere and he hit us at like the perfect moment. We weren't going to be able to recover from that. We were sliding through the dirt. All right. Retry here. Everything else with this car has been super smooth, dude. Escaping the cops. It feels really good. We got up into first place immediately right there. Kind of slowed down trying to hit the cacti though. And that gave him a chance to, to come after us. So here we go. It's actually going to be way easier than I thought if we just immediately start off by hitting the fences and stuff. Nice. Trying to get one of those... anti-don't-go-here sign things. We missed them. We're okay. We're actually doing worse on the objects this time. Nice, got some good ones there. Some more here. Oh! Woo! Oh my gosh. Dang it, he just took our stuff to hit. I don't like this Bobby Joe in front of us. I'm trying to hit all this stuff and he keeps taking it from me. There's a casino chip up there. How do we hit that? Okay, we need 11 objects to hit here, boys. Just missed two right there. Oh, fence, fence, fence. That only counted as one object. We took out like seven pieces of fence. There's a cactus. We have 1,400 yards left. This guy's in a Plymouth Barracuda as well. No wonder. He's up here with us. Dude, I'm not seeing much to hit. I'm not seeing much to hit. Dude, how do you hit that many objects? I really don't know. We were able to actually finish at that time. We did well. Beat our auto log rival by a significant amount. Holy cow. Yeah, this thing's fast. This thing is going to dominate online off-road racing, I think.
It feels good. Like, it doesn't feel too fast that it's like hard to control. It just, it, it feels good. This is, this is a very, very solid pickup for us here. So that's, that's good stuff, boys. All right. Um, guess we have another race right here. Desert Spanner. It's kind of taking us back to where we started. So we'll make a, uh, a full loop here, I guess. Let's do it. Haven't really had too much experience with off-road in this game, apart from um, obviously like the, the main campaign missions, but we didn't, I don't know. I feel like we don't do too much off-road racing, so this is kind of cool. All right, let's get it, boys. We've got a, a bug in front of us. We've got a Datsun, we've got that Panamera. Kind of an interesting look for an off-road car. All right, 10 objects this time. Okay, this won't stop me. we're gonna have to restart this race too, I guess. Holy cow. So both these races, we're gonna start off by running into somebody else. That time it was kind of our fault, I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna run into somebody else and it's gonna throw us off our game. It's all right though, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna bring it back. We're actually gonna beat our, uh, our side bet this time. I'm gonna try to, try my hardest. We don't have like an immediate fence right off to the side, unfortunately. That's what we need. Alright. Nobody better hit that cacti. That's all mine. Woo! Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Hit. Hit all the things. All the things we need to hit. Alright, we have five. Look for cacti, Trev. Look for anything you can hit. We just hit a tumbleweed. That didn't count. Come on, baby. There's nothing to hit out here. Dude, give me one of these run into objects challenges in the city when we actually have stuff to run into. There's literally, I haven't seen anything. There aren't even road signs out here. Came a little wide on that corner. We still have five objects to hit. I'm looking for cacti, I'm looking for road signs. Hit a mailbox. Can't let up now. Dude, we are destroying these guys. Careful. Okay. Our nitrous is good on this thing too. That's the other thing. Dude, we are gonna be able to beat these hit challenges. Oh. Oh, we were close. It didn't even count the last few there. What in the world, dude? We hit three things right at the end, and it only counted one of them. Man, we just set a new record on that race. Dude, this thing is so fast, it's insane. All right, let's get one final race. I wanna have it be one where the side bet is not to hit stuff, because that is way too hard. Okay, um, looking for something that we could fast travel close by. That's the one we just did. Airfield 73 trial. I don't really want to do a trial. Canyon Brawl? Could be interesting. You guys want to try that one? Oh, we have this one here. Burning Point. I'm going to do Canyon Brawl. That sounds sounds pretty spicy. But yeah, dude, those ones were really, really hard. I don't know what it wanted me to run into. Like, I, to have me run into all that stuff and still win the race, I definitely could have hit all that stuff if you wanted me to. I just would have had to stop and... Focus on hitting all the fences. But to do it and win the race just wasn't going to be possible. Look at all the stuff to hit out here. There's barrels and street signs and light poles and... I mean, we could have got it easy out here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we keep running into stuff, dude. We're back. Excuse me. I like how people were just ca casually passing the car that was on its side right there. Nobody took the time to stop and ask if I was okay. Feels bad, man. Oop. One down here. Okay. I just, apparently I can't drive today, boys. Our objective is not to hit stuff anymore, Trev. You gotta stop running into walls. So we're going down into the canyon here. This thing just feels so good, dude. I feel, man, I don't know. I'm glad that they're they're putting cars, the, the new cars that they're adding in, they're like making them good. 
They're making them competitive. Obviously, any car you can level up to level 400 is going to be competitive, but, like, there's a difference. You can definitely feel a difference with a lot of these cars, and they're putting very solid cars in it. Drift for 3,280 yards and win the race. Okay, I think we could do that. I like that better than run into a bunch of stupid stuff. Here we go, boys. All right. I like this area out here and like the, the desert canyons and stuff. This should be a fun race, especially if we're gonna be drifting a lot. All right, I'm gonna burn our nitrous off the start. Try to get up into first place if we can. Not bad. There's a lot of stuff to run into in this one. All kinds of construction cones and stuff. Woo! Drifting into first place, baby. Let's go. All right, coming up here. Doing a little bit more drifting. Oh, this is this is right where we came down. There should be a shortcut right here. Yeah. Okay. Plant slowed us down a little bit there. We're fine. Oh, baby! Oh my gosh. Dude, if I have to restart another race because somebody runs into me, I'm going to be pissed. Alright. Looking good so far. Not really much to drift through here. There we go. That's, that's not bad. Woo! Holy cow, dude. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. Try to get a little bit more drifting in. This is a long race. We've got three miles. So we should have plenty of time to make it happen. Don't really have to force it too much. Come around through here. We're right. Whew. I thought we were going to run into like an invisible wall or rock or something right there, but we're good. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. We kind of caught on that drift right there. I thought we might go end over end. Trying to take shortcuts. We're okay. We have 1,000 yards of drifting left. Let me just drift our off-road vehicle on the asphalt. No big deal. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Woo! 400 yards left. Come on, baby. 135 yards left. All right, let's just focus on winning this race because it's going to happen right here. Oh, man. Hold on. Woo. We keep catching some air, and I don't I don't like that. Oh, God. Dude. No. No. Not right at the end. Holy cow. I thought we were about to blow it right there at the end, dude. That was dangerous. We kept having like air where instead of drifting around the corner, we'd catch air and then we'd just keep going straight. Man, we destroyed our auto log rival again. Finally, we beat our, our side bet for the first time in this mission. But overall, dude, this car, it, it's a monster. This thing is really, really good if you guys are looking for a solid off-road car. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, we have a new abandoned car next Tuesday. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.